हेलो एंड नमस्ते इन कंटिन्यूशन विद द कॉम्प्लेक्स इंटीग्रेशन वी आर गोइंग अहेड विद द कॉशियस इंटीग्रल थ्योरम हियर इन दिस सेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू गो अहेड विद द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड द थ्योरम्स अलोंग विद दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिफाइन अ फ्लो चार्ट टू सॉल्व द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द कॉशियस इंटीग्रल थियरम एंड द करोलोरीज ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर थियरम सो बिफोर गोइंग अहेड फ्यू डेफिनेशन फर्स्ट इज सिंपली कनेक्टेड रीजन a connected region is said to be a simply connected if all the interior points of the closed curve c drawn in the region d are the points of the region capital d so this this kind of figure will give you the simply connected region wherein this curve, this curve doesn't have any hole into it or this curve is not intersecting itself it is a simple closed curve the starting and the ending point of this particular curve is same then if you are talking about a multi connected region multi connected region is the is bounded by more than one curve we can convert a multi connected region into a simply connected one by giving it one or more cut say for example here in the multiply connected region if you wanted to convert this particular multi connected so if you observe here this is a hole into it so this is a white part or you can say a part which is not shaded is the whole but in particular region so the the suppose we are making a simple connected closed curve and we are making a hole into it that is nothing but the multiply connected region we can convert this into simply connected region just by giving a cut so suppose we have got this particular curve and if we are giving a cut from this point and from this point that means what we are trying to make this hole uh, outside the curve that means what we can convert this some uh, multiply connected curve using the simple connected curve a function f of z is said to be memomorphic in a region capital r if it is analytic in the region r except at a finite number of poles so this is th these are the de uh, important definitions which might will require in uh, the uh, further sections okay now cauchy's integral theorem so we are we are just dealing here with the statements because we will be um, uh, concentrating more on the number of questions or to solve the uh, different type of questions so we are accepting this proof for this particular say, particular session without a proof so we are just accepting the uh, the statements of that so cauchy's integral theorem says that if f of z is analytic and its derivative f dash of z is continuous at all points on and inside the simple closed curve c then integration of f of z dz over the closed curve c is equals to 0 along with this particular integral theorem we have cauchy's integral formula if f of z is analytic inside and on a simple closed curve c that encloses a simply connected region capital r and if capital small a is any point in capital r then f of a is given to us or f of a is equals to 1 upon 2 pi i integration f of z upon z minus a over the closed curve c dz where c is described in a anti clockwise sense or a direction so we are accepting this two proof to uh, statements without a proof let us go ahead and concentrate on the flow chart or you can say the um, the way and how to solve the different type of questions along with the given scenario given question now in the type 1 in the type 1 we have got integration capital f of z dz over the closed curve c is equals to integration phi of z upon z minus z0 dz or integration phi of z upon z minus z0 to the power n over the curve c dz now what do you mean by that this type 1 is is all about a single point a single point so if we have got a single point in the particular region or a pole of the particular um, uh, you can say a singularity of the particular function then we can go ahead with this type of type 1 again in the type 1 there are there, there would be two conditions existing that is of z0 one would be outside one would be inside how to deal with that now whenever we have got so two conditions will exist here so suppose we have got this z1 is outside the c if z sorry z0 is outside the c so f of z is analytic in and on c therefore we have to put capital f of z as small f of z and by cauchy's integral theorem this integration f of z dz over the curve c is equals to 0 this is the case when it is going to are uh, going outside the c 
What will happen if Z0 is inside the C? Then F of Z is not analytic in and on C. Therefore, we have to put phi of Z is equal to F of Z, which may be analytic in C. And therefore, integration f of z upon z minus z0 dz is 2 pi i into f of z0. So, this is this particular thing will be coming or this particular formula would be coming as the part of Cauchy's integral formula which we have defined or which we have had the statement in the last slide. This is the case when if it, uh, in the denominator it is z minus z0. If we have got z minus z0 to the power n, that means it is the, the point z0 is repeating n times. That time is it is equal to 2 pi i upon n minus 1 factorial into the n minus 1th derivative of f at z0. So, this is about the type 1 which is, which is uh, dealing with the one single point z0. In the type 2, in the type 2 we have got two different points. Actually, it is, it is uh, actually more than, more than a point, more than a one point or more than a point. So, what would be the scenario in this type of examples? Now, there are three different scenarios will exist when this Z1, Z2, both of them are inside, when Z1, Z2, both of them are outside and when one is in, one is out. So, what will happen if Z1 and Z2, both of them are inside? If both of them are inside, F of Z is not analytic in and on C. This gives us or we have to go ahead with 1 upon Z minus Z, Z, Z1 into Z minus Z2 is equals to k1 upon z minus z1 plus k2 upon z minus z2 that means what in short we have to do the partial fraction of this particular now whenever we are taking a partial fraction note it down we have taken 1 upon the denominator 1 upon the denominator we have not taken any phi of z in the numerator it's it's we have to go ahead with the partial fraction of this after going ahead a partial fraction we have to put phi of uh, z is equals to f of z which may be analytic and we can get it Integration of f of z, z minus z1 into z minus z2 dz is 2 pi i into k1 f of z1 plus k2 f of z2. This is the case when both of them are inside. Now, what will happen if both of them are outside, then f of z is analytic in and on c. So, we have to uh, put capital F of z is small f of z and we can go ahead by cautious integral theorem. This particular value is going to be 0. So, this when both the points are outside, we have to go, we have to take the value as equals to 0. Then the case is when Z1 is outside and Z2 is in. So, just please note it down. Z1 is out, Z2 is inside. So, if whatever the point we have got, so that means what we have to put, put F of Z is phi of Z upon Z minus Z1, which may be analytic in C. And therefore, by Cauchy's integral formula, integration of phi of z upon z minus z1 upon z minus actually uh, here it is z2 dz is equals to integration of f of z upon z minus z2 dz is 2 pi i into f of z2 that means we have to take it here the point f of z2 at the point which is the point which is inside this particular circle or inside this particular curve c close curve c so, this is, these are the three conditions when the type 2 are exist. We have to have all these different questions based on the type 1 and type 2. So, we have to take a call which type of, uh, type, whether it's a single point, whether it's a more than a point. According to that, we have to go ahead and solve this different type of questions. I hope you have understood. Please stay connected and stay tuned for the upcoming session, which is completely based on the exhaustive different type of questions. Thank you. Happy learning.